Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. April 12th, Robert Murray McShane. Two resolutions marked Robert's ministry. One, never rest until you accomplish your task. Two, never hurry in a way that prevents the Holy Spirit from calming your heart. Robert, the son of a Scottish lawyer, spent his early life in comfort and luxury. But when his older brother died, Robert looked for a life of deep communion with God. He got his education and entered the ministry. From the outset, Robert suffered from frequent illness and sensed that his time on earth would be short. But he was determined to make every moment count. His life had been saved by Jesus and it belonged to Jesus. Robert would not waste a minute. About this resolution, he wrote, As I was walking in the fields, the thought came over me with almost overwhelming power that every one of my flock must soon be in heaven or hell. With some friends, on this date in 1839, Robert left London for a six-month journey to Palestine. It was a fact-finding mission to learn about the spiritual condition of the Jewish people living there. Today's story starts with Robert returning from his trip. It was time to tell his congregation all about the trip, right? A life lived for God's glory leaves an eternal legacy. From the outset of his ministry, Robert Murray McShane suffered from frequent illness and sensed that his time on earth would be short. But he determined to make every moment count. His life had been saved by Jesus, and it belonged to Jesus. McShane wouldn't waste a minute. About this resolution, he wrote, As I was walking in the fields, the thought came over me with almost overwhelming power that every one of my flock must soon be in heaven or hell. After he returned from an exhausting yet very fruitful six-month journey ministering to the Jews in Israel, McShane made his way to his church and gave thanks to the Lord. He encouraged his flock and led them in prayer. After this, he preached for an hour. Although a great revival had occurred during his absence under the ministry of his assistant, William Burns, McShane was unwilling for even a single member of his church to miss out on the grace of salvation. He seized that opportunity not to tell of his journeyings, but to show the way of life to sinners. When he left the church that night, he found the road to his house blocked by church members who were waiting to welcome him back. Instead of rushing home for a much needed rest, McShane chose to stay. Since they had gathered, he felt compelled to speak some words of life to them once again. Out on the road, he stood and he prayed with them as long as they would pray. A month later, when preaching at his church one Sunday afternoon, McShane once again demonstrated his unyielding passion for the Lord when he said, Dearly beloved, I now begin another year of my ministry among you, and I am resolved, if God give me health and strength, that I will not leave a man, woman, or child among you alone until you have at least heard the testimony of God concerning his Son, either to your condemnation or salvation. McShane died four years later during an epidemic of typhus. He was 29 years old, and his ministry had lasted less than six and a half years. Although his life and work were short, much like our Lord Jesus, his influence had been long-lasting. McShane did not let anything distract him from pursuing Christ every day, not even the intense suffering he endured in his body. Robert McShane exemplified the verse in Psalm chapter 90, verse 12. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Today, his powerful sermons, love for the Word of God, and life of communion with Christ still inspire countless believers worldwide. Are you making every day count for Jesus? A life lived for God's glory leaves an eternal legacy.
Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.